All right, I got my little pretzel hot doggy things going. I've got all my mac and cheese brisket balls, mozzarella cheese sticks today. They're deep fried, they're so good. Do you know how your kids always order those at the restaurants? Well, heck, why not make them at home? They're super easy. Let me show you how it works. Mozzarella stick here. Okay, we're gonna throw it in some flour with a little bit of salt and pepper. Pretty simple, easy. Then we're gonna dredge it on into our egg wash, which is just a little egg and some milk. And then we go over to our breadcrumb mix. We have breadcrumbs that has thyme and parsley and oregano and garlic powder and chili flakes and Parmesan cheese and basil. So look at how simple that is. Boom. We're gonna freeze those for about an hour and then we're gonna deep fry them and we're gonna stick them in some homemade marinara sauce. Gonna be tasty. All right, so I'm making my marinara sauce. We'll learn this from Joel McCune, our guy. We got some garlic, some tomatoes, and some white onions, and we do a little bit of olive oil, some salt, some pepper, maybe a little splash of some basil. You throw it in the oven, roast it for 35 minutes, and after we're done, we're gonna emulsify it. It turns into the best marinara sauce you'll ever have. Okay, so we're gonna throw these all in here, and I'm just gonna stick them in for a few minutes. Oh yeah, look at that. See how it's frying in there? So let's try that. Mmm, that's good. You, you don't have to order, you can do it at home. Mm -hmm. I've got all my dough ready to go. I made it earlier, it's risen, it's happy. I cut it into little strips and I'm taking these little hot dog little linkies. We're gonna roll these guys up. Slice that off real easy like, and then just pinch the ends. And boom, you got yourself little linkies that we're gonna make pretzel out of. And we're gonna use our master built boiler. It's gonna be great. I can't wait to try these out. So cool. Here's our little pretzel hot doggy deals. Just got those out. So I boiled these up first and then we baked them. So I got a little cheese sauce, it's got beer in it. Who doesn't like beer in their cheese sauce? So good. So I'm gonna take a bite of that. Mm. Oh, these are good. They're delicious. Wow. So we got them all mixed up with some mac and cheese. I made some homemade mac, super cheesy and tasty. Made some brisket, put it all together, and then I stuck it in the fridge. And now we're just making our little balls. So you wanna make these little balls. You wanna put them in little golf ball size. So we're just making our last couple of balls here. So make sure you put it in the fridge, let it sit, relax for a little while. And then once we're done with these balls, we're gonna throw these in the freezer for 30 minutes. And when that's done and they're all happy, we're gonna dredge it in some flour, some egg, and a little panko breadcrumbs, a little, you know, a little bit of seasoning in there, some cayenne, some stuff, and it's gonna be tasty. And then we're gonna stick it in the fryer we're gonna fry them up and we're gonna eat them and it's gonna be unreal. Oh yeah. Nice and golden brown. Perfect. I'm so glad I used the elbow noodles and the mac and cheese. And I made my own mac and cheese with some bechamel sauce. So good, it was gooey and tasty. Look at how they turned out. So juicy, look at this. Look at this, look at this. Just crack it open, look at that. Look at that happiness in there. I got a little buffalo aioli right here. Oh, 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 oh my God. Do you make these for somebody? They're gonna love you forever, I'm telling you. Dip, 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 dip. Oh, 